Hello and welcome back to my garden. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Ryobi OLM 1833B lawnmower. The model name is a bit of a mouthful but to put it simply this is Ryobi's smallest cordless mower with a cutting width of 33cm. First up as you can see I had to assemble it. It was really simple to do and the handle can be installed in one of three heights. There's only a couple of centimetres between each one but it should make all the difference to tall users. Once the lower two sections have been fixed in place with the thumb screws, the top part of the handle needs to be attached. You can't really go wrong here, as it will only fit one way around. Putting the bolts through from the outside, they should line up with the square cutout in the handle. Last up, put the 35 litre bag on the back, clip the wires to the handle with the provided clips, and you're ready to go. One thing that I should say is it comes pre-installed with this device, which stops the grass going into the basket and just spreads it around so if you want to collect the grass you need to make sure this is removed. So now that it's assembled it's just a case of putting the battery in, into it clicks and obviously this red key this stops it from you from working so if you've got kids or something like that you need the lawnmower to be really safe you can keep that key out and it won't work without it. The height adjustment is on the side here I've got it on two because down to one and all the way up to five, you literally pull it out, move it up and down. Right then, let's mow the grass. So, to get it going, you have to hold down the safety switch and then pull the levers. It's really lightweight to push along. Made short work of my relatively long grass, actually. One thing I'll say for this lawnmower is it's quite loud. The motor itself isn't too loud, but there's like quite a loud whistling sound that goes along with it. I'm not sure if there was a bit of grass stuck or a leaf stuck somewhere that was whistling. we have it, we've mowed the grass. Um, this lawn is about 50 metres squared. I've strimmed all the way around the edges with the strimmer. Check out the video of that up here. And I've mowed the grass all on one battery, 4 amp hour, and it's showing half battery still. So in theory I could do it twice on one charge. That's in a 50 metre squared garden. So if you've got a small garden, this is really all you need. It's really lightweight, easy to manoeuvre, so much easier than using a corded lawnmower I used to have. And I was always getting tangled up, getting the extension lead out because it didn't reach. It really makes them mowing the lawn a lot quicker. I probably did it in half the time. And um, just need to remember to charge the battery up, of course. It was really easy to assemble, as you saw. Pick up, picked up the grass really well. Really good capacity grass basket. I did the whole garden. Um, it was pretty long, and I did the whole garden on one basket. It's properly full now, but it's it's one. I think if you're already invested in the Ryobi OnePlus battery ecosystem, then it's a no-brainer. You can get this lawnmower for around £100, generally without a battery. I think with a battery it's more like £120, £130. Um, I actually got this in a set with the strimmer. Battery, battery charger, lawnmower and strimmer for £199. Check in the description the links to the latest prices. Make sure to let me know if you found this video useful by hitting the like button or dropping me a comment. Make sure to subscribe.
to be notified of my latest videos. The Strummer from the OnePlus range is coming soon to this channel, and I will see you in the next video.